Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. You know, over the last several months, we have been tracking some of the craziest pieces of gun control legislation that we have ever seen in the history of this country. And when it comes to crazy or stupid pieces of gun control legislation, well, one state absolutely takes the cake. And of course, that is the state of New York. However, when it comes to the most evil, the most sinister, the most nefarious pieces of gun control legislation. Well, you see, that's where the state of Illinois leads the charge. And today is no exception because we have a new bill kicking around in the Illinois state legislature that is pretty sinister. So today, let's get all of you up to speed about Illinois' very evil red flag bill. Okay, so as you guys can probably imagine, this video is for my good friends in the state of Illinois, but I think all of you should probably pay attention to this because as we know on the gun grabbing left, no idea is particularly original. Once it happens once, it oftentimes is repeated in many other jurisdictions. So what we see in Illinois is likely coming your way soon. We are talking today about House Bill 3967 that is sponsored by newly elected Representative Nabila Syed of Illinois. 51st district. This is a bill which would amend Illinois' red flag laws. Now, if we take a step back for a second, we have done a couple of different videos about red flag laws, extreme risk protection orders, and other euphemistic names that are given. And as an attorney who practices in the criminal courts and has represented a lot of people on red flag orders, the big problem that many of us in the legal community has is not so much with what the intent of the law is. We do believe that in many instances, the purpose and the intent of the law in oftentimes is noble. How However, it's in the application of the law. You see, because when we start stripping individuals of constitutionally guaranteed rights based merely on allegations, where the burden of proof is not proof beyond a reasonable doubt, but mere preponderance of evidence, when evidence can be submitted through writings and not subject to any type of attack or cross-examination or credibility assessment, when we start stripping individuals their rights under those circumstances, that's where red flag laws begin to fall apart from a constitutional level, pre predominantly on what we call a procedural due process level. Now, what is procedural due process? Procedural due process is a fancy legal term for, hey, you know what? If the government's going to take something from you, you are always entitled to notice and a meaningful opportunity to be heard. That is, you have the right to be placed on notice of what it is that the government is alleging against you, what sanctions are coming, and why they believe those sanctions are necessary. And then you are entitled to a meaningful opportunity to be heard. Now, when it gets to red flag orders, we can do two or three videos about whether or not a meaningful opportunity to be heard actually exists. But in this instance, what Representative Saeed wants to do is to make sure that no citizen in the state of Illinois would ever have notice, let alone a meaningful opportunity to be heard when there is a red flag petition. Because the purpose of this bill is to essentially give the petitioner carte blanche and the court carte blanche to take a person's Second Amendment rights without them ever being notified or even having an opportunity to be heard. Don't believe me? Well, let's take a look at the language of the bill itself. You see, because when you get into the language of the bill itself, you will see right here on page 14 of the proposed legislation, a strike through, which is essentially that this bill proposes to remove language from a statute, not add language, not change language, but to remove language from a statute. Now, Illinois' current red flag law provision reads as follows. 14.5, prohibition of firearm possession. Prohibit a person against whom an order of protection was issued from possessing any firearms during the duration of the order if the order, one, was issued after a hearing of which such person received actual notice and at which such person had an opportunity to participate. 
Two, restrain such person from harassing, stalking, or threatening an intimate partner of such person or child of such intimate partner or person or engaging in other conduct that would place an intimate partner in reasonable fear of bodily injury to the partner or child. And three, includes a finding that such person represents a credible, credible physical threat to the safety of such intimate partner or child. So as you can see, under current Illinois law, you can be stripped of your Second Amendment rights if there is a petition which alleges certain things and after a hearing in which you have received notice and a meaningful opportunity to be heard, the court issues that order. Now, if Representative Syed gets her way, the new legislation is really this simple because we take this section of the law right here, we strike through this portion, and we are now left with the remaining law. What section does he want to strike through? Well, what she wants to rid the statute of is this provision, of which such person received actual notice and at which such person had an opportunity to participate. And so, Illinois, what House Bill 3967 and what Representative Syed wants to do is create a legislative scheme where somebody can make an allegation against an individual have that individual stripped of all of their constitutionally guaranteed Second Amendment rights, and that individual never once get notice of what was going on, or number two, have any opportunity to participate, to put on their side of the case, to attack the credibility of the other side's case. All of those opportunities, according to Representative Syed, are unnecessary and should not be provided. Now, if enacted into law, this provision will certainly give the appellate attorneys lots to talk about. What's the chances of this passing? Well, in most states, the chance would be pretty slim. It would be scoffed at. But let us not forget, this is the state of Illinois, the same state that took an innocuous piece of insurance legislation, turned it into an outright assault weapon ban, and got it signed by the governor and enacted into law in less than 72 hours without a single public comment from any Illinois resident. So... Have we proven already that the state of Illinois absolutely despises its citizens? Oh, we most definitely have. This video right here summarizes it. Once again, the House bill is 3967. It is sponsored by Representative Nabila Syed of Illinois' 51st District. We're going to keep our eyes on this. This is an incredibly dangerous uh, and irresponsible piece of legislation. It is a reckless piece of legislation, and we want to see where, if anywhere, this goes. In the meantime, if you have any questions about this or anything else of what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you guys should know the drill by now. You can always contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com, or you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now, in the meantime, let's remember... Part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.